Welcome to the world of proteins. Today, we have an ultimate guide that will empower you with all the information you need. We'll explore the structure, function, and the secrets of digestion and absorption of proteins in your body. We'll also explore the vital aspects of choosing the right protein types to match your preferences and determine the ideal amount of protein intake you need for achieving your goals. From understanding the complexities of protein structure to gaining insights into the best sources of protein for your specific needs, this video will leave you with a wealth of knowledge that you can put into practice immediately. So, let's get right into it. Let's start with the basics. Proteins are made up of long chains of amino acids linked together by peptide bonds. The sequence of these amino acids determines the protein's primary structure, which in turn defines its final shape and function. This primary structure then folds into its secondary structure, creating coils or pleats. And from there, it folds even further to form the tertiary structure. In some cases, multiple tertiary structures come together to create the final quaternary structure of a protein. The functions of proteins in our bodies are vast and crucial. They are the major structural components of muscles, the brain, nervous system, blood, skin, and hair. But their roles don't stop there. Proteins also act as transporters for essential nutrients like iron, vitamins, minerals, fats, and oxygen. They are essential for maintaining acid base and fluid balance, and they even play a crucial part in accelerating chemical reactions as enzymes and fighting infections as antibodies. But it's not just about having proteins, it's also about having the right kind and the right amount. Protein quality depends on the essential amino acid composition, digestibility, and bioavailability. Some animal products, like meat and dairy, are complete proteins, meaning they contain all essential amino acids. However, many plant-based foods are incomplete proteins. But don't worry, you can still get all essential amino acids by combining different plant sources like grains and legumes, dairy and grains, or legumes and seeds. Now, let's explore some specific types of protein. First up, we have whey protein which is one of the primary milk proteins. It's known for its rapid digestion and absorption, making it beneficial for muscle growth. Then there's casein, another milk protein that provides a sustained release of amino acids, making it useful for muscle recovery during resistance training. And let's not forget soy, the most widely used vegetable protein, which contains all essential amino acids and is heart healthy due to its high content of polyunsaturated fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Now that we know about the different types of protein, let's understand how protein digestion and absorption work. It all starts in the stomach, where proteins are broken down into simpler forms using acid, salt, or heat, making them more accessible to digestive enzymes. Animal proteins tend to be better digested than plant proteins, but food processing can also affect amino acid availability. The small intestine then takes over, breaking down proteins into single amino acids or smaller chains for absorption into the bloodstream. Amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, serve both anabolic and catabolic functions in the body. Anabolism involves building new tissues through protein synthesis, while catabolism involves energy production through deamination and other metabolic processes. The body continuously recycles amino acids to maintain protein balance, which is crucial for various bodily functions, especially during times of high stress, growth, recovery, or resistance training. So, how much protein do you need? The recommended dietary allowance, RDA, for most healthy individuals is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. However, Athletes and those engaged in intense physical activities may benefit from higher protein intake, ranging from 1.2 to 2.0 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. Remember, protein is essential for muscle repair and rebuilding, especially after exercise-induced damage. Now, let's discuss the benefits and risks of a high-protein diet. Studies suggest that high-protein diets can be effective for weight loss, preserving lean body mass, and promoting satiety. 
They can also be beneficial for endurance and resistance training, aiding in muscle repair and synthesis. However, the long-term effects and sustainability of these diets require further investigation. For vegetarians, getting sufficient high-quality proteins from plant sources like legumes, nuts, soy, and meat alternatives is essential. Proper planning can ensure they obtain all essential amino acids by consuming complementary protein-rich plant foods. And what about protein supplements? They can be useful for increasing overall protein intake or targeting specific protein types or amino acids. However, it's important to exercise caution as the supplement industry is not closely regulated, and research findings can be inconsistent. Always consult with health professionals before incorporating supplements into your diet. In conclusion, consuming sufficient high-quality protein is crucial for muscle gain, weight loss, and overall health improvement. Understanding the different protein sources, their digestion and absorption, and how they contribute to your body's functions can empower you to make informed choices for your dietary needs and fitness goals. I hope you found this ultimate guide to proteins informative and valuable. Remember to make smart choices when it comes to protein consumption to support your well-being and live a healthy, active life. If you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot.